everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the top 32 of the Las Vegas Open, aka the Fly Better Open. How's it going, everybody? Super excited to be here. We have come down to our last set of competitors. I will tell you, it's not actually 32 people. It's a little bit less, and there's weird like numbers. We're going to call it the top 32 for sake of simplicity and uh, to not confuse people when they see a number like top 27. <laughs> and they go, huh? What? What? What are you talking about? Well, um, <laughs> so today I am joined by my good friend William Hagwood, but I left something in the hotel room accidentally. So um, he he has graciously uh, agreed to go get it. Shout out to my good friend Will, and uh, of course shout out to our sponsor for these rounds, Curl Paw Creatives. Use coupon code LVO twenty two for twenty two percent off. Get your yummy yummy acrylic for. X-Wing, Legion, Armada, Wingspan, basically so many games. And hey, if you have a custom idea, hit up Andrew. I'm sure he can hook you up. We also got his brand new painting station that allows him to uh, that allows you to hold all of your paints he's got different styles for Vallejo Citadel whatever whatever floats your boat maybe you just want random shells rather than actual inserts for the bottles that's cool too he's got that also the new floating album shelves and bookshelves which are also also really cool and very minimalist design so let's go ahead and take a look at our matchup. We got John McDermott versus Brian Lindemood. The Empire. The, what was that? I don't even sure what that was. The Empire versus Scum and Villainy. Uh, John coming here with Darth Vader with hate fire control system and afterburners. Uh, pretty much the a uh, standard Vader. You know, hate. He spent a little extra points on that one. But hey, if you got the points, go ahead and spend them. Darth Vader out there, of course, being able to have a lot of action economy. After you perform an action, you may spend one force to perform an action. Being able to cycle those is absolutely amazing. Hate is going to allow you to have a little bit more of that force economy. And we have fire control system. It's just another economy card, right? You have a target lock out there, able to reroll one attack die when attacking it. Afterburners, giving a little bit of extra juice to that movement after performing a three or higher speed maneuver. Then we have the Ace of Legend himself, Sunterfell, out there with Predator to give him some offensive tech and stealth device for some defensive tech. Sunterfell at Initiative 6 is going to be uh, moving around here, probably play a little bit cagey alongside his partner in crime, Sienna Ree. Sienna Ree, the other, <laughs> the other Initiative 6 um, interceptor, pretty cool to see. John being able to bring a, a pilot that most people write off um, because of a, an ability that can put you in a, in a tough spot, but an I-6 interceptor still can be good. And here's John proving it out by making the cut here at Las Vegas. Sienna Reed's got outmaneuver. Delayed fuses just to fill that extra point. He was at 199 without it. And targeting computer adding that target lock. Um, action to the action bar since of course she's using her uh, her elite pilot talent slot for uh, for outmaneuver and that's going to round you out at 200 points now of course that initiative six is going to end up mattering for both Sienna Ree and Suntier with the player order rolls you got on the other side we're actually going to bounce to uh, Fen Fenrau on that other side the Initiative uh, 6 scum ace uh, who, who loves to punch people in the face. Brian was on stream yesterday. Fenrout performed four, five dice, range one attacks. He got five hits on all of them. You got Predator out there being able to modify those um, offensive dice when he's got people in the bullseye. And um, to round out the squad, I mean, round out the squad is really not a friend round squad. You know what? This, this is a boss squad. Boss out there being the one that uh, that does just some disgusting work. If you guys haven't been following the meta lately, it has been a staple for about the last year. Um, when a crit is able to get through the uh, defense dice of an enemy and uh, and actually hit, you can split that into two damage. Basically, it's like an auto direct hit uh, whenever a crit gets through. 
in order to help with that crit generation. We got marksmanship, just in case somebody lands in that bullseye. Jamming beam, just in case we get in a situation where you need it. I don't expect to actually see it for this one. Greedo is that other crit generation where you're going to be able to uh, convert one of, your, one of your dies into a crit. Uh, one of your hits into a crit. So watch out for that. And of course, there is the other side where John will be able to use the Greedo effect as well when the charge is, uh, is it active or inactive? There's one, one of the times, I want to make sure I read this correctly, while you defend if your charge is active. Yes, if it's active, uh, John can use that crit ability as well. Watch out, that means Sunterfell and Sienna and Darth Vader, all three of them have the possibility to uh, use that uh, Greedo ability. It's something that is often forgotten by opponents who are playing against Greedo. It's just, just something to uh, to be aware of. And Dead Man Switch, when boss goes boom, everybody around him takes a damage. And we have the Hound's Tooth, a, a card that we honestly have not seen too much, allowing you to equip, or excuse me, to dock one Z95. We haven't had a docked ship uh, in second edition do much work. And yesterday we saw the Nashta Pup, the Z95, that essentially takes over the effect of Bosk uh, do some absolute work out there. Got the Dead Man Switch for that when it goes off. It does an additional damage. As for timing, when Bosk gets destroyed, you got Dead Man Switch going off on Bosk, and then you have the deployment of the of the Z95 because of with that emergency deployment, and um, it would not take an additional damage from the Dead Man Switch. Just so you know, it will take a damage though from emergency deployment, which automatically will give you one shield damage. So just being aware of that. Let's go ahead and open the Choose Your Champion betting. Let's go ahead and do that. And you can see, do we? Do you think the Imperial I-6s have the advantage in this one? Or is it Brian Lindemood with his scum jank? Now to finish out the squad here, we also have Tel Travera. Tel Travera out there doing his job. Cutthroat, Jamming Beam, Contraband Cybernetics, Hole Upgrade, Punishing One, and R5TK. He's able to come back from the dead and bring himself to bear an additional time. Oh, we, we might have a bump on that obstacle early, and it looks like we do not. So Boss ready to face off against these Interceptors. He's feeling hungry. He's going to go ahead and do a Reinforce action. Reinforce allowing you to be defensive. You can add an Evade result when defending as long as at least one damage goes through. Uh, it is a way to keep those big chunky ships that have Reinforce alive. It's quite, uh, quite solid. All right, now John. John's started out pretty cagey. He's has those two interceptors together. Started with a little dance, covering the corner. I think getting a feel for Brian's approach. Now Brian's keeping Fenral back, and that's understandable. There's three I sixes out there. Um, the player order is going to matter massively for those. Seems like on the initial uh, voting, we have most people leaning in to Brian's uh, as having the advantage. And I can understand that. You have these uh, low hull ships in Suntir and Sienna facing off against a boss that can be quite consistent in its offense and its crit generation. I think John's going to want to lean on that stealth device to be able to be rolling dice at range three. So it'll be five defense dice on with Sunterfell with stealth device. And of course it'd be four at range three with Sienna. And I think the plan here is if you can get past Bosk, if you can get past them, uh, Sienna can definitely do some work without maneuver. Very solid. And I think that's why uh, one of the reasons I think John takes that targeting computer on Sienna Ree is because she can she'll end up taking a damage when a ship is destroyed. You can uh, assume not a damage, a stress when a ship is destroyed. It makes it so that uh, you can set up potentially a target lock later on. Have a mod out there, maybe not need to focus. And if you're in the if you're in the right spot to shoot, destroy a ship, and you have you have a mod saved up. Target lock being an absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, a mod that you can save. We're spending the force for hit, hit, crit out there. Vader. And Tell's just going to go ahead and spend no damage on the initial attack here. 
Here come the interceptors. Range three attack. Focus evade. Not sure which which interceptor is which. Oh, triple crits. You know that's one. You don't need to greet when uh, when you got that. And that's going to add one evade with reinforce. It's going to be two damage on Bosk. Let's go ahead and do that. Next attack from the other interceptor. Here comes Sienna. And it's going to be hit crit with Greedo. John is very aware of Greedo being available. Rolls to Natty's there at range three. All right. Seems pretty solid. What will we get next? Here comes Bosk. It is a range three shot. He's hoping to squeak something by here on Suntir. It's going to be difficult. You know, he's got the range three on Sienna. Sienna, of course, being uh, 10 points cheaper. You know, she's with, with the upgrades. She's not too far away. I think you would shoot into Sienna here, though, even though you want Suntir. Double focus and a blink, and that's going to be nothing. Had to lean in on the natties there. Didn't get him. Next shot. Here's Tell back at Vader. Three hits. Might actually take some damage here. Nope. Spends the focus on Vader to avoid taking any damage whatsoever. How's it going? HW break time. Next attack. Fenral coming from the side here. One crit and safe. <laughs> 63 minutes and change left on our clock. Things looking uh, looking pretty interesting here. I'm curious to see who uh, who call who calls each other's bluff. You have uh, boss that can very easily get in the way of the interceptors, but I think John doesn't mind the bump I don't think I think it, it might be more of an issue of can you if Bosk stops which I'm not sure Brian would want to stop with Bosk uh, taking away the actions but if you stop with Bosk does Sienna for instance if she wanted to just try to burn this out and, and the, the, the plan being just to get behind everything you know five straight boost does that give you does that get, even get you past does that even get you past uh, that I don't know that I don't know. Shout out, shout out to my my, my good friends here at uh, at LVO who have who have received their uh, their Galactic Championship swag and seeing how people uh, have been using them to decorate their bags, their backpacks. Um, we even had a player who put them on his jacket. And uh, they just looked amazing. And it, it's, it's really cool to s actually start seeing those prizes out in the wild. Uh, it's amazing. Still have some to, uh, to ship, which is great. And, yep, let's go ahead and uh, close the betting. It does close automatically after eight minutes. There's only a minute 52 left, but we'll close it early. Here we go. So, Tel Travera right now is going to have... Have some decisions to make. Are you going to help Bosk with those interceptors? Are we going at Darth Vader? Um, the road roll here is going to matter. And these uh, these low health, high agility ships. Got some risks. Got some risks. Now, for those of you who are out there right now, you know, this This is, these are the tough, this is one of, one of the tough spots um, that we've been, that, that, that when you have random order after dials that you're put in, right, is I have my fragile ship, I mean, and John is like riding on I-6, right? Um, you, you have... These, these fragile ships at initiative six. You got Fenra out there. And when they start getting closer, we're, we're going to, not maybe, we are going to get some collisions. It's going to happen. It's inevitable.
What can you do? So Fenral, it might be, I mean, are, are you safe to just blast in there? Five, five straight with, uh, with Darth Vader. And any lats in the top cut? I don't believe so. I didn't see any. Let me let me ask Nick. Nick, did you see any? People are asking, are there are there any lats in the cut? I did see a lat actually. Just there a there is a lat in the cut. Vindicated. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Gotta love it. Confirmed. Dion is always right, except when he's not. All right. Any brutes in the cut? That? I don't know. Isofane walking around throwing things for some reason. Um, I left something in the room. He went to go get it. He's helping me out. Mommy. All right. So Brian going for the aggressive approach. He's turning in. I'm kind of surprised we didn't see the stop here. Um, but at the same time, the target for Brian is probably Vader and not these interceptors. Waiting to see an action. I think what he's, he's eyeballing right now is whether or not a target lock is in range. He'd like to have some type of modifiers out there. He's reaching for it. He's got it. Okay, you, you definitely don't want to waste an action. Target locks have to be within range one to three. And if it's a little bit too far away and you guess wrong, you guess wrong that it's, <laughs> that it's in range or not, uh, it does make you pretty sad. By the way, if you want to see the bracket... If you want to see the bracket, you need to go to uh, go to our Twitch chat, type exclamation point bracket, and we have a link to it there. Uh, we don't have our fancy bracket. Thank you, Will. We don't have our uh, our, our our fancy uh, graphic bracket, um, mostly because our, our team gen generates that internally. We need stuff beforehand and all, all the things, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so. You can go ahead and check out that challenge bracket. One forward with Vader. All right, John being first player again. He gets to try to see if he can uh, have some answers against Fen Rout. Ch check this out, dude. All right, so Will William is back. Uh, hello, everybody. We got. Can you hear me? Yeah, they can yeah. hear me. It's a little quieter in here. I would bring the mic a little closer. Oh, sure. Let's eat it. Yeah. So we got triple I-6s on John's mm -hmm. side. Sure, yeah. The double interceptors. Yep. Uh-huh. This guy, he's, he's playing on a razor's edge, man. Ooh, that's getting real close to Wiggly Bosk out there. <laughs> Wiggly Bosk. <But laughs> All right. Who's going in? Soon tears going in. He's guaranteeing the focus. He's evade barrel roll. But yeah, he is range one of boss in the side arc. Man, that is close. I hope. Oh, sorry. It's not on. That's okay. Well, <laughs> the tells front arc is so close. Now, Sienna getting right where she needs to be. She's got that out maneuver uh, out there. She's got that out maneuver, allowing her to reduce the agility of an enemy ship when firing outside of their firing arc. Give it a shot now. And we're boosting for a little bit of extra space. Firing arc right there. All right, I got to So we're talking to... Let's get it back to you. Right, one sec, I gotta re reset oh, sorry, it. Sorry, I'm it, stealing it, your mic. <laughs> it, did, it did. It's uh, didn't show here. One so more. we saw Brian Linda Mood, not Belinda Mood. Yeah. Right. Uh, like, <laughs> so I'll try it now. Yeah. Not a person who I thought's name was Belinda. <laughs> oh we yeah, got, we oh, got yeah. it. It's working. Yeah, that should be. That should be just fine. For soon tier, can he pick up that starter of engagement bullseye focus? And who's first player? Because this is obviously matters a lot for Fen Round. It's, it's John. Yeah. John okay. is that first player. 
So he ended up blocking Finn around there. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Who is Brian? Brian is Brian. <laughs> Brian is Brian. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Like I said, I thought it was a person named Belinda, last name Mood. Yep. That's not, <laughs> <laughs> that's not how that works. All right. All right, here we go. John rolling his attack. This is going to be... Sinterius range one. Yep. Ooh, he's going for it. He is being aggressive. Okay. And double evades there with Tell. That's going to be two shields. Yeah, what uh, what did Bosk lose in the first engagement? Just two shields? Yep. Next shot here. This is Vader. Yep, make hit two crits. Hit crit crit. Oh, and okay. there you go. That's There's variance. <laughs> Hit, crit, crit, double crits coming in. Let's find out what we get. First one is a disabled Same power regulator. Not so bad. And console fire. Okay. Potential for extra damage. Mm hmm. Uh, disabled power regulator won't take effect for three rounds. We get three dials. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, two dials. Two dials, yeah. Disabled. Two dials before that takes effect. That's the wrong shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Council fire. The sale. All right. Really, there we go. All right. So boss now. Boss does have Greedo. Do, do we see another modification? Took a target lock. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Which one, though? Zoom tier? Or is that Vader? Uh, no, he actually took a, he took a lock on, um, on Vader. Okay. Okay. So I think he was hoping to get that, um, which I think is the reason why John taking the risk here of, of being, he's got stealth device and evade um, with with no no mods. All right there, there's Tell firing. Range three. Range three at Sienna. Got the focus. Easy. John leaning into the mat there. Like, I should be safe, I should be fine. Is it council fire? Council fire, no damage. All right, here, here's the, uh, here's the big shot of the round. Remember, large base ships require three ion tokens in order to be ionized. And went for the range one shot into soon tier. Got just two. So one on four dice should be easy for mm -hmm. John. He's got the evade token. He just needs to get one. He, he takes one. None. Well, he's going to take two with that Greedo split into split the crit. Yeah, losing the stealth device. Absolutely massive. That's that's soon tier down to one. I, I have a question there, though. Is there, is there, okay, I, I, I guess this is me being greedy. Is there any reason on a three agility ship, sorry, three my statement is stupid. Never mind. I'm just going to not even go there. I was going to ask, is there any benefit to risk just giving him a crit instead of the double damage? Or you just take the damage when you get it because it gets you points? Always take, uh, with Valus, oh, my philosophy is always get points, step okay. one. And it would have to be, mm -hmm. uh, man, maybe like a desperate situation uh, where it's like Bosk and... Another ship versus Boba Fett. Uh -huh. And you could put a crit underneath the shields. Yep. Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. It would have to be something chunky like that, or like a, a big Falcon or a Boba or something for that to be effective. Because if you could get like a structural damage yep. or a panicked at the right time, mm -hmm. you could flip the game pretty quickly. But for the most part, if you can get points... Uh, yeah. I mean, do extra damage. Yeah, you probably should. Exactly, especially on these these three whole ships, oh, right? You're just like, know. well, now you have now, now we just got to get one to squeak through. But yeah, John uh, John losing the aggressive play by John spending the focus to fire at Teltravera. Uh, yeah, uh, well, does, he does end up focus results on not on 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 no. defense. He blanked out four blanks. Oh, you're right. So it wouldn't have helped him. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. He made the right call. He made the right. It turns out, turns out it was right. All right. So he was able to get, get some offense. Uh, traded it, unfortunately, for, for, uh, for that. Yes, on his on his attack, he did correct. I was talking about his defensive role. Like we, we see the role. It's actually it's sitting right there. Three. Uh, yeah, he changed one to. What we'll change the blank? Well, to. no, I think he that one. I think that one was a focus. 
the one that he converted with, with the evade. Focus? Okay, yeah. okay. So he could have spent spent the spent the focus and the evade on one of the blanks. I'm pretty sure that was a focus result. Yeah, he changed the eyeball. That, that's what I thought. Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. So punished, unfortunately, for being offensive. Pull for the interceptor dial again. I always forget their straight blues. It goes up to uh four? It four is straight. Up to four. Okay. Just kind of considering here. Assuming we have, what we say? We got two dials for tell? Mm-hmm. Ooh, you. <laughs> I don't know. Do you risk that heading towards that board edge? Or do you just sloop right now and deal without maneuver at CNRE behind you? Right. <laughs> That's going to be a tough choice for both of them. Obviously, Bosk is heading up in here. He's got nothing to do but three bank in, just take up space up here. I mean, does so Epionic putting out a putting out a suggestion here? Uh, if Tell does an ion maneuver, the crit flips, right? After you fully execute an ion, or after you execute an ion maneuver, yeah. So he could sloop over, clear the Vader lock, and possibly clear his crit earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By getting an additional ion token from the gas cloud. There's there's sloops. The, the uh, for the the jump master. Yeah, it's it's still left, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's still left. So three sloop. Your square is gonna be here or so. Maybe a little bit closer. Yeah. Boop. Range one target lock. Let's go. <laughs> So I don't. Ooh, that's that's a difficult position for mm, Tell. Mm -hmm. But whatever, you die, you, you die, you come back, <laughs> you live again. I'm, I'm built to die. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so right now, uh, just to, just to kind of catch you up, if we take a look at the choose your champion voting, uh, we are we're at a, a pretty strong favorite for Brian. I think the the sure. reason being. Because Bosk is out there, he's out there to chew stuff up, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so we know that he can uh, he can definitely dish out the offense. And Brian only needs a couple of moments for that to happen. He just needs something to squeak through. It's it's not a, a prolonged pecking away at at uh, at really high hull ships. Oh. It just needs well, so to, this is, to uh, let the crit slip through. This is some deep strategy that I know Brian knows. Uh, and it's it's very subtle on its list, and it's R five T K. Uh, combined with his two uses of Dead Man Switch. Now, normally, you know, if you're soon tier like uh, right now, when you're on uh, one hull, mm -hmm. you just don't be range one of these Dead Man <laughs> ships, right? Get out. But the problem, though is that that pup can be released in combat mm -hmm. and Tell can actually shoot the pup with R5TK yep. ex exploding the dead man switch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're dead. Also, you're dead. <laughs> uh, well, cause they're because they're both the same initiative, yeah. Boss would still be able to shoot that round. That's right. So, and yeah, if Boss doesn't get the kill. <laughs> it's like an extra, it's <laughs> like, a, like an extra bomb out there. All right, and look, he is he is going for the sloop. It is, it's going. I think you have to with that cloud in the way. It's the only thing you can do. They don't do damage. Have nope. you gone over the obstacle rules? Uh, we have not. So we are playing with with the upcoming, uh, the impending. I think impending. that was the word we used before. Yeah, the impending like uh, changes here. We're calling it X-wing at two point five. Uh, two point two five. Before we get to two two point five. Rolls the crit. Oh, that's all the ions. He's he got, will flip he the got crit all then. the ions. I mean, he might <laughs> ion, <laughs> fully ionized, fully ionized. Yeah. Fully. <laughs> he might be drifting until he's dead, but. It's a uh, risk. So, so he's got some red tokens. Continue. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, as a note, uh, if you maneuver through an obstacle, you do not skip your perform, perform action step. This is obviously a red maneuver, so cannot do anything about that. And for the, specifically for the gas cloud, the ship removes all lock tokens assigned to it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's referring to the ones it has and the ones on it. So does he? Have, he does, does Tell have a target lock on it anymore? No. Or do they remove uh, it? I think only Boss had it. 
Though, though we did see Brian like target locking with his tail, wants to draw that fire. Mm -hmm. um, but let's see, then we see the automatic strain come out right here uh, for the gas cloud. And then the final thing, which is what we saw, which was a dice roll to determine ion tokens received. On a hit, it's one. On a crit, it's three. So fully ionized here. Which, yes, will flip that crit. All right. I think Vader has Tell locked. Not anymore, it doesn't. We just, it might be on the opposite side. There. Oh, well, Vader's he's changing. It doesn't matter. He's moving <laughs> in anyways. Perfect. <laughs> Easy. Focus on Vader. Just for just so that they remember, because they're about to hit a lot. There's more. about to hit too. There's a lot of <laughs> gas clouds. Tell it's gonna go through. So yeah, yeah. So no big deal. He, uh, like I said, instantly reacquired another yeah. one. So not a problem. All right. So we're doing that two turn. It looks like Sienna's gonna end up bumping here. Okay. Yeah. That. That sloop was a lot closer to Sienna than I thought it was, mm -hmm. so a lot more safe. I'll put that I'm still, I'm down. still used to uh, the computer screen to deal, <laughs> being able to swivel around. Do no, the no swivel. You get no swivel. I no, know. no capitas. Contraband cybernetics. Uh, their head hunter. Mm -hmm. I did say he shouldn't, but. Uh, he can, it turns out. Yep. Cyber, uh, contraband cybernetics allows you to perform an actions even while stressed. You can see it. Charge is spent over there. Yep, yep, yep. Never say it with me. Contraband, contraband, contraband. contraband. <laughs> <laughs> And where are you going? Soon tears coming in, trying to set up the uh, shot here on tell. It'll be close whether or not he's got that back corner. So uh, as an interesting note as they uh, finish some maneuvering here, when tell uh, is placed in reserves, it does keep all of its tokens, um, obviously not circular tokens, um, but would keep all non-round tokens. So if Suntir would happen to get the killing blow this round, mm -hmm. he would keep all those extra tokens. Mm, that's right. Be ionized when he comes in and deploys. <laughs> yes, Ghost. They are sitting on springs. We got Bobble Bosk, Bobble Tell. It's the Bobble it's, Squad. Uh... uh it's to prevent if you accidentally, you know, nudge a ship, it just kind of, you know, wong, wong, takes wong, it wong, and wong, wong, wiggles wong. around instead of uh, getting knocked in, out of position. And we got a funky arc check there for <laughs> yeah. for Fenral. Talking about. Yeah, whether or not he's got that corner. Well, luckily, uh, the judge judges are on hand. Watching right. here at the top tables. So Vader firing range one at Bosk. We went with the fire control system reroll. Advanced targeting computer for a crit. Mm. And Don't. Greedo spend the fo uh, charge. Greedo triple crits looking at Bosk. One's on the shield, one hits the hole. Oh. <laughs> Fuel <laughs> leak, then we were going to get an extra damage. Structural damage. So one more? One more? No, nope, that'd be it. Was it three crits? It, well, one was off the shield. Ah, okay. That's right. We had a shield left. Yeah, fuel leak, structural damage. Okay, this is soon tier. 
Gonna save the focus for defense at one health. So just sneak a crit through. That's a whole breach okay. on the tell. Not a big deal. Uh, when tell is placed in reserves, uh, all those face up damage cards go away. So mm -hmm. not a problem. And so Tell's not going to get to shoot this turn. Ooh, though, it would make the console fire face up. Oh, when he takes the damage, yes. If, if he Yes, the console fire damage. All right, so this is probably going to be... Bask? No. Hit crit. No, this was uh, Fenral. Long range into oh into Suntier into Suntier trying trying to catch that last bit of hole didn't get it. Looks like from from their perspective probably the Fen Rao shot just isn't isn't even close. And here is uh, Bosk three hits re roll with the target lock four Vader is going to be taking damage. One of those should be a doesn't crit Bosk have a right. He gets an evade. So how many how many damage did that end up being? Did they do the boss crit? Or did Brian forget it? One, two, three. I think he forgot it. He might have thought that he couldn't do it if Vader used it. Yeah, we see it spent here. That's that he, he, That's strange. I don't know what to think about that. So he, he took one, a single card? Single card, because he regenerated all of his force with hate. Got it. So that's going to be points. But I mean, he could, if, even if it was two, I just want to make sure they're not stacked. One point oh brain, probably. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a misplay by Brian. Could have, could have had Vader yeah, down to Paul, one. Paul, that's not how Greedo works, though. The uh, the opponent can't spend the charge. Yeah, it's just if it is active, pull, you get to do the, the thing. Let's, yep. the let's go ahead and read let's, let's the card. Let's take a moment to read the card. <laughs> so we know what to do. So the second says, paragraph. It only asks if your charge is active. There it is. Whoops, yeah, I forgot that. No worries, no worries. <laughs> Listen, yeah. even a world champion yeah, it's okay. can forget a card. <laughs> let, th let that be known whenever anybody gets <laughs> triggered, like, how did you not know this ability? Okay. I mean, the only reason I knew was because I flew bots for like six months with Greedo on. So, I, I very much remember. Uh, no, he didn't. He did a... Uh, Somebody saying that, oh, it looks like he just added another hit. No, that's not what happened. He target locked, rolled for a hit, and moved it to the side. I think Blin you can't just go add another hit before somebody rolls. That's not, <laughs> that's not how the ability works. Oh, oh, they're saying like, uh, oh, yeah. yeah he, he Bosk is after neutralize. Yeah. You have to wait for the, you have to, the crit has to even, right, even, go through first. Exactly. Even though with... Right, exactly, because if it would have been three, yeah, that yes, we got it. It was a target lock for a hit, and then no conversion for crit. Oh, that's unfortunate. If Vader ends up at one hall at any point in this game, that that we, we'll come back to this moment. So right now we have Bosk. Bosk at six health with the structural damage. Is he gonna? I said Bosk probably doesn't get a shot this next turn. No, because he can't hard three. Mm -hmm. uh, now with Fenn sitting right there. Yep. Yeah, hard to say. I mean, the charge is still. Charges still 
uh, unrecurred, so hard, hard to say. All right. I guess the the question would be, charges our game state though. Uh, can we would have to go back? Did see, here's the here's the problem. If we walk up to the table and say, did Vader spend Greedo's charge in the last attack, and they go no, then it's a missed opportunity by Brian. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Could, could you could you get D? Could, could you get D? Yeah. Uh, cause the game the game state would change. Right. But. So, Bri Brian and John, can you do a timeout real quick. Yeah, yeah. Quick, I mean, quick. set your dials. Just, just, just don't set, activate set your for dials. one. We, I just gotta ask. I gotta ask D a question. Yeah, yeah you guys you, are you fine. Guys just set their dials. Shot in the balls. And what I don't know is if Brian spent Greedo's charge when Vader shot, which is not how Greedo works anymore, right? That, should, that would still be Missed active. opportunities so, exist. So, so that that's right. It's, so I don't know if there was a, a misplay in which Vader spent Greedo's charge and then Brian was like, well, I guess it's not available anymore for me to use it, or is it Brian just forgot that it should have been active and this was just a, a slop play? Okay. Right. So I follow conceptually, but what's the granular like, outcome? So I, I guess my, my question is, do, do, we, do we change anything? Is, is that a situation where... Because he had the opportunity to use Greedo and... It's, it's, so it, it but like, instructed me very clearly, missed opportunities exist, Greedo but, is May. But it, if... If Vader flipped the charge while attacking Bosk, then the charge should be active. No, the, the charge is always up until right. Brian attacks. But if it if the mistake came from I'm sorry. What? If the mistake came uh, from flipping the charge accidentally, just so. Okay. We'll see. I, I think it's just a missed opportunity, but it's better to ask. It might, yeah, it might, I don't know if it was... Uh, what do I want to say? I don't know if it was inactive all around. Yeah. We'll find out. That's why we got D on board. Yeah. Keep it going. All right. Okay, okay. Time goes. Cool. Thank you. That's it. That's, that's what I, that's what I figured. But better to be safe than sorry. Wasn't sure. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Well, we're moving on. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So. Be actually, better to be safe than sorry. We don't want internet drama. You know how the people get. <laughs> Huh? No, 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 you're fine. No, you're you're, you're, you're good. good. You're at uh, 3326. No. Yeah. So this is interesting. <laughs> uh, um, well, I'll talk a little bit yeah. about uh, judge calls. So um, I was thinking about it like the VCR, different buttons. You either got uh, play on. Yeah. Rewind. Yep. Which means return it to a, a correct game state mm -hmm. or pause and do the thing that needs to be done to correct the game state right now. Right, exactly. And uh, what D, D came over and said, AMG said that missed opportunities exist, and that's that's what that's what it is. So every, everything everything's a may, which is fine. I'm I'm good with that world. Yeah. And and like somebody somebody uh, uh, somebody I guess who's watching first time commenter was like, this is why I hesitate to go on stream. It, this is this is just no, no, this no. would be the same thing if 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 I was standing there looking at your game or a judge was there. Just, it's just we were just asking a question, and it doesn't it never hurts to ask a question. No, we and that's that's <laughs> the difference is that we weren't expecting an outcome from yeah, any just ruling. Ask the question because I would rather I would rather ask the question now 
then like it just, because we see it all the time in three three weeks get a post be like all the comments on the youtube video of course yeah <laughs> for for a league night game where we didn't care any any anything <laughs> yes yes so and when, when we have these uh these higher level events these premier level events we just want to make sure everything's good that's all mm -hmm, mm -hmm. easy peasy lemon and squeezy. it's a um a, if it was a I want to say missed opportunity yeah. or a misplay from Vader, whatever the situation was, uh, just that kind of uh, what to how do I want to describe it? Just they kind of like uh, uh, drawing attention to Greedo to make sure that it's played right the rest of the game mm -hmm. at least. All right, so here's Sienna. Continuing to bump. It looks like the strategy right now John's taking is, you know, I, I'm okay taking maneuvers where I end up uh, having these collisions. It doesn't cost me anything. Mm -hmm. And um, it gets Sienna in a position to, to start peppering Bosk. Uh, even though, uh, well, blah, tongue tied. <laughs> uh, boss, boss got that structural damage. If at range three, the out maneuver will kick in as well, nice. and yeah. uh, bring it down to zero agility. See an eclipse cloud too. Uh, yeah, you see a, a strain there. Uh oh, but no, no ion, which is a good thing. All now, right. we had a couple people who are first-time players on the stream, which I was excited about. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, the, <laughs> you, you do have to weigh the, like, uh, you know, the, the value of if you win, you're going to have that win documented for the rest of time. But if you do make a mistake, uh, you could regret it for a long time as well. So I trust everybody here. Uh, it's been flying pretty good. And Vader tried to two straight, which should be should clear his stress. All right. Hit yeah. blank, double blank, and an evade safe on that attack. All right. So this is that council fire. Council fire should be a face-up damage. Didn't get to see what that one was. I think it's another council fire. I think you're right. <laughs> Double council. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So that means tell tell us four cards. He's down to two hall, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're three and six. Mm -hmm. they're th uh, yeah, three and six. Sienna shot. No, she's on the gas cloud. Mm -hmm. We assume. Yep. Not sure how else, how else she got the stream. So tell the strain's gone now. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. of uh, the Vader shot. Mm hmm. Hall of Grade. That's oh, it right. would be. It, I was. Oh, I was <laughs> right. I was right. I should have trusted myself. No. <laughs> Hall of Grade. Oh, it is my enemy. It is my enemy. It is my plight. <laughs> no upgrades in the <laughs> chat. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Smokies. What did you guys at before Open Champs? Uh, Sion, I'm not... I think we got some words in in awkward order there, my friend. Before Open Or, or we're missing a couple words. Uh, Try one more time. I'll answer your question. <laughs> So there used to be regionals and nationals only. We never had the open series. Uh, that came in 2016. What did you guys do before? What? So wait. 
I'm confused. <laughs> That's what, okay. What are we talking? I don't. I'm, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm just a simple man. All right. So the John is asking to uh, to mark tail out of the way so he can see the flight path there. Yeah, I think that that should answer some. Oh, the. Uh, the what do you have for meals? Today we haven't really eaten. <laughs> <laughs> you had a donut. I had a donut from le left over from yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I mean we had a delicious dinner from yesterday. Uh, dinner. Yeah. Oh, so good, so fancy. Uh, the the Minox uh, recommended a place, and it uh, it turned out uh, pretty good. Uh, other than that, we just 26. Been, mm, other than that, we just been eating like convention food. I'm pretty sure. Can you can you just ask it? What was Vader's last maneuver, last turn? If it was blue, if it was blue, it was what did he do? Two white. Two oh two white. He was stressed and he tried to. Got okay. it. Okay, never sense. mind. Then don't ask anything. That answers exactly what we needed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, there you go. Tried to uh, K turn or talon roll. It was mm -hmm. the only red maneuvers you could do on the next one. While he was stressed. Oh. A steakhouse. <laughs> yeah, it was a seasoning salt. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Hand washed. Hand washed Hand seasoning washed salt. salt. That's right. That is right. I will tell. I have. I have not had a waiter be s more. It's like passionate about like telling the stories about the restaurant i i had a kick out of it i was having a good time I was like, you know what you are in i'm in you've bought yeah. in i've bought in yeah, you know we want to we want to make sure that uh, we have that he was really pushing that pepper as well <laughs> not just seasoning salt these days dude. it turns out the restaurant like I, I, I said i said yesterday that the restaurant was really just a dlc uh, a life dlc uh cell mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right they're like Oh, trust me. I'm like, never looking at Lowry's our, seasoning salt. Use our Lowry's seasoning salt and pepper. It's so funny. I, 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 maybe it's the small town hick in me, but I never <laughs> do. There was a fancy Lowry's. I thought that was uh, the most, like, generic seasoning salt you could get. They want to be the only one. The only seasoning salt. How, how wrong I was, Dion. Well, you know what, though? That means they, they've they got good market penetration, right? They do. Oh, right? They do. Oh, they do. Small towns and big cities. Wow, wow, wow. I love I love the bobbles. Hey, Radio TCX. Thanks for joining us in. Though, <laughs> sad to hear the story about stressed maneuvers. Uh, if that's, uh, let's see, radio, who would be on Radio 26? That's either Carson. Is, that, is it Carson? Tim. Or Tim, yeah. I mean, who, who, who's using the handle, though? Well, Tim, because Danger Ray is Oh, also yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Tim, don't, don't blame your mistakes on my tokens, okay? Giant stress token. <laughs> Get out of here, Carson. But yeah, yeah, Carson, you could have drove down here. It's only like two states away. I'm, I'll, I'll use I'll use Tim's logic. My tokens is the reason why Carson won of course. Gen Con. <laughs> obviously, uh -oh. it allowed him to remember all his triggers. So we did see another sloop there. Mm -hmm. um, Brian doing a great job of rotating out his large bases to get in the way of Vader. Sienna still stressed. Tell has three hole. Might get an opportunity to shoot. I don't know. And the perform action step. You still get to keep it. 
Mm -hmm. I know the the irony is like you can take a you can take an action, but because you rolled an ion, yeah. it's a focus action. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, no ions, so for Sienna, so you can, she can use that auto thrusters to barrel roll. Mm -hmm. Got out of the Tel's arc. Not going to take any risks. Triggers that out maneuver. Yeah, Tell's probably I mean, gone. You, the, the and he'll regenerate. Be, the lock could be nice, but in case Fenral's three bank <laughs> lands, uh, you might want a defensive token. People asking for three, three, please three hard fen. Yeah, three hard boost. Come on, get ya. Um, nom nom nom. Honestly, I think the three hard boost puts you uh, puts you wide. A little, a little bit too far. Uh huh. Yeah, I could see that. You don't want a three hard barrel roll, and just be like, I'm the Concordia <laughs> now. Going out. Three hard the. Opposite direction. Oh, Talon roll. T roll. Uh, cutting back to cover, boss. Oh, oh, look, there you go. World champion agrees with me. Three hard barrel roll. Got it. All right, but nonetheless, we got a uh, turnaround maneuver there. A two Talon. Maybe trying mm -hmm. to catch Vader. So, and two crits, two focuses rolled there by John. This is must be range one Sienna. Sienna, yep. And who's shooting at you? Boss, maybe. Boss from downtown. You got you got double crits out there. You know, Tell is gonna take I, I would, two. I would, He's yeah. doing it. He wants to guarantee the kill. Let's get out of here. Yep. Rolls an evade, but still still goes down. Structural damage, blinded pilot. All oh, these are face. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to end up with two hull after he comes back, right? Correct. Because right. because it doesn't... Uh, what do I want to say? It, it tells you to assign yourself five damage cards. Yep. And not put yourself at one hull. That's why the hull upgrade... Uh, Normally stapled to tell Tavera. And now uh, we uh, can see the very rare uh, double zombie. Uh, because of that cutthroat, Tell could actually recover the charge to uh, pl be placed in reserves a second time. That's right. Two hits hit crit. So through the cloud, strained. It's going to be four dice, no mods, and that's a crit squeaking through. One, two, after the pop. Wow, okay. So that means Sienna's at half points now. <laughs> well, they lost their, uh, what do I say, their buffer, their whole buffer. Now it really is back to the racer's edge. Oh, they're talking about, let's pull up Sienna Reeves' ability. Yep. Because uh, we're talking about, this is the discussion, why there was a, could have been a second stress or not. Uh, it's after you perform an attack, if the defender was destroyed, gain one stress token. Yep. But. Ba yeah. Bosk says, if you would be destroyed, I mean, not Bosk, uh, Tell says, if you would be destroyed, right? <laughs> if you would be destroyed. Yep. Instead. Instead, yeah. So not destroyed. Sienna's ability does not trigger there, causing right. her to become um, stressed. A lot of people thought you could uh, dead man switch on Tell and still activate the dead man switch. Right. That's not. That's not how that works. Because you're not destroyed. Not officially destroyed. <laughs> I haven't really been destroyed. <laughs> what would Brian call it? A, a rental car. It's fine. <laughs> It's made to get banged up, right? Get some miles on it. Mm -hmm. So 
So now looking at uh, looking at the positioning though, with Brian placing Tell up in that top, uh, that looks like a that looks like a box. <laughs> Soon tears in a box. So two bears. Seventeen. I gotta make Tell Tell come back. One second. Your life. Click. There we go. One click. So did not have any uh, red tokens. Yep. So. Uh, the only red token on Tell when they were placed in reserves was a crit marker. And obviously because you throw all those cards away and are dealt five more. It says Tell should still have stress. Because Tell, Tell Talon rolled. I mean, Victor's right there, so. Uh, he was walking, he walked away when all that happened. Oh, D. D? D? Can I borrow you for a second? Can you just check that Tell was, was or was not stressed when he was placing reserves? Oh, shit. That's how those tokens work. Yeah. All right, and all these t crits are gone, right? Mm -hmm. Click. Mm -hmm. Click. Click. Clock. There it is, yep. All right. So I had died while slooping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said Legends well, of the Game State. Well, it, it, uh, uh, I wonder if he would change his positioning, but uh, while we're still setting dials, but it does greatly affect uh, that. That stress means a lot for Tell. Yeah. Well, I guess not. He's got. Not, he's, got he's got going to the left, so yeah, it, yeah, it all works. He's fine. He's fine. So yeah, not a big deal. What? All just, right. Just boss stop. Do points have to be updated <laughs> on for Tell Travera? What What do you mean, friend? So we're we're not doing the. I don't, you know what? That's actually a good question. With Tell coming back from the dead, you know, there's the you know once you half, you keep half. Yeah, rule. but it's instead. It's instead, right? So he was never actually destroyed. Well, never actually so, destroyed. So yeah, you still you just you only have half points on mm -hmm. Tell. All right, disaster averted. Good. Thank you for okay. thank you for talking <laughs> that through with me. Sometimes that's uh, all you need. Tell is, uh, always, so when Marcel was flying Tell a lot, he thought it was hilarious that he could just, like, bank, uh, like, 40-something points into a ship. Uh-huh. And the opponent would be like, well, I could kill you, but that doesn't mean anything, because there's only one more round left yeah, in this game. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, I guess I can't win. <laughs> yes. All right, Bosk turning into Vader... And the and uh, Sienna over there, Vader's not going to be able to get out of that. Boss still has six hull, but we will see. He's got a target lock out there from Bosk. <laughs> yeah, and all so, these... but that, that's the thing. Uh, John doesn't want Bosk has uh, dead man's has switch. dead men's, which you mm -hmm. don't want to kill him. Thirteen. Uh, Dion, you mentioned there's a special wizard ship. Where can I find it? Type exclamation point DF to get the District Foundry link and check out that special spe special wizard ship. Okay, soon tier fell right in front of Tell. Evade. Evade Boosie, he, oh, he's taking it back. He's taking it back. It's fine. This, is, this isn't chess, all right? This isn't chess. <laughs> well, if you're... I guess if you're repositioning... Tell that to, tell that to uh, past times. Boost, barrel roll, bullseye. Yeah. yeah, when, when but it comes... But then also, you know, boost, 
Also, you assume Fenrau's firing arc yep. can be somewhere around there. It's hard hard to say. So he is he's gonna he's gonna stick with the evade. I think he was double checking to see if there was a single reposition he could do to line up a bullseye. Yep. And there's a stress going out to get a barrel roll that might get him out to range three from tell, maybe. Two bank away. So it looked like Brian is prioritizing getting getting Fen in a spot where he can come back in safely. Mm -hmm. He's playing pretty cagey. Mm -hmm. is, uh, in short. I mean, he's worth 70 points. He's not half. So yeah. like, you got you got an outmaneuver interceptor chasing you. Yep. Yeah, maybe, you know, <laughs> you can jive a little bit. All right, here we go. Checking for Bullseye. No focus for Soontier. Ginger Wookie Ooh, hitting that, that two-year two mark. Yeah, uh, two-year badge. Oh, Sienna does not have a shot on Bosk. But honestly, we talked about those dead man switches. It could be a good thing for oh. John. Well, uh, luckily, every one of John's shifts isn't at one health. There's one extra hull on Vader here. Vader looking to get like a weapons failure here or something onto uh, on the Bosk. Here we go. Let's see if he can get, get himself a crit. There it is. As he's got two chances at it. Yeah. Advanced targeting it, computer. For Greedo. No, he... Oh, Greedo. He Greedo. just flipped it. He just flipped it. Again. Why? That's not how... I thought we went through this earlier, Brian. Yeah. Victor. The bo the Greedo charge is active. He just spent it. That's not how that card That's works. That's not how that card works. Read that card. So it was. That was what happened earlier. Yeah. See, we were right. <laughs> yeah, we were right. <laughs> All right, hit, hit, crit. This is from Soontier. Just going to kill him out right now. Because if you spin the charge, it's no longer inactive, which yeah. means the whole opponents, all of the opponents can use it then. Mm -hmm. So I never put Greed on like an I-1 or something. Yeah, exactly. So, so right here, remember, remember we, we said earlier there was an opportunity uh, where Bryant didn't, mm -hmm. didn't do... The Greedo crit, Vader would have been at one hole, right. and now he's going to take one from uh, from the uh, from the dead man switch, and Vader's going to be living. So yeah, coming out the back here, going to get his. Uh, so not only does he get an action, he gets to engage at his initiative if it hasn't passed. Mm-hmm. Deploy the pup. There you go. Pup, pup. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Come on, pup. All righty. The, the Houndstooth and Z95 pup combination. Yep. Uh, he didn't forget Dead Man. There's another, there's another damage card on, uh, on Vader. So here we go. Dead as his uh, ball, not well, the Nash to pup. Looking at uh, looking over there, two hits. Looking at soon tier and doesn't get the squiggle you needed. The Nash to wow. pup taking out soon tier fell. Get some. Oh jeez, so heavy. Oh. Oh, sure, yeah. Wow. 
it worked out. All righty. This end game is going to be fun, though. We got Sienna Re and Vader. Wow. We'll go ahead and take Bosk off the overlay. After all that damage, update the score. It is tight. 95 to 132. This is crazy. Checking out small tarts with uh, ISO fade here. Uh, they are impressive. I dropped them because they're all metal. So, yeah, so this was actually an opportunity uh, for what I was talking about was the R5 TK. Mm -hmm. to, uh, well, I guess the pup was at three health. It actually should yeah. lose the shield. There we go. Uh, Vader's still on the board, though. Yep. All right, I need a I need a break. It's been two days straight. I just need a break. <laughs> of what? You'll see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Coming in blasting. All right. Oh yeah. That's okay. This game. All right, so what's John's win condition here? Uh, so John is looking. He is going to kill Tell. Right? Yeah, he's, he's got to take out Tell. It's a thir 38, 38 points. Well, well t Tell only gets him 30. Or excuse me, it would be 29. Gets him another 29 so he's kill points. The pup too. He's got to take out the pup as well. That's 65. Vader, I think what, what you got to do here, man, I think what might end up what gives John a chance is Fen Rao, because he's facing to the outside, he's going to be able to turn in. All right, yeah. He's going to be able to turn in uh, and do a reposition, but he's he's going to end up facing the board edge. I don't know if he's going to be... He's not going to be able to chase this turn. He's going to get set up to chase. Mm -hmm. Sienna could get in a spot to to do some work here and, uh, right. and, and possibly have... If you have Fen, that's... That that gets you uh, much closer. Yeah, I'll maneuver, pick up a target lock. Yeah, I mean, if you if you yeah, hit, it, hit it hard enough, you could take Fen. Down the roll. We saw we've seen Brian do it one time you wanna, already. You play that game, Fen. That's right. And the Nash to pup coming in. <laughs> Look at that wiggle. Ex lum ex lumber cat dropping some subs in the chat. Here we go, Tell with the three bank. A one hard. Four minutes left. Yeah, if if Sienna, I like the barrel roll is good here, but if Sienna, yeah, barrel roll. can uh, can get, get, you, right you, get you get half on there, you let Vader do some more. Oh, is no. it gonna be too? Is it gonna yeah, be too, too proud? Close with the barrel roll. Yeah, oh, too close with the barrel. get tight, get tight. Oh, come on, come on, <laughs> come on, <laughs> no, those dubs. Sienna, no, those dubs are no, stop Sienna, you. no. Somebody get get this man a nail file. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk about dubs. <laughs> Don't get people ideas. <laughs> oh man, what? Oh, that feels so bad. He wants to try it. You can see that he wants to try it. I mean, so to grab the token and try it, right? Uh, he's gonna well, because you get arc dodge Bo by doing this and barrel roll to the outside. No, he's already got it. He's, he's already okay. got it. Here comes Vader. He, yeah, he's got, he had to make a decision in time. If he can get if he can get another turn, Vader, take out the pup. Vader, take out Tell. Double double check that point count for one second. Kill kill Bosk and Tell. Bo Bosk and Tell? No, no. Like I mean, Tell and the pup. Tell, tell, tell and the pup. That would tie it up. Oh, it's still short. This is still not enough. It's still Finaz. short. No. Finaz the game. Wasting your time. 
Might as well not even shoot these people. It is funny making people shoot at a six-point ship. <sighs> six-point ship that's, that, that's done the murder. <laughs> it's done the murder. Earl into Fenrau shot here. Hit crit. Natty's, there we go. You got what you need. John, John's looking for it. He's feeling it. He's rolling what he's got. He's trying. He's moving fast. So he's trying to, trying to, trying to get himself a another turn. Not obstructed. Double check with the judge. Hit crit crit. Natty's does a does a single crit though. So it's gonna keep going. Damage engine. Got to hit. There's the attack back. Two hits. Vader. You got you gotta spend the force here. Or the focus. Mm -hmm. So got you still got time. Yep. All right, so here we go. This is it. All right, so part three. Still got an afterburners charge. Go here, John. I'm trying to see charges. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I still got one. Okay, okay. So there's a chance. I think he's going to need that afterburners charge mm -hmm. to to have a chance at this. So hard three. Boost. Not yet. Few seconds. This will this will be the last turn. So if that is official time. Yeah. So I wonder if they how aware of the points they are. I wonder if John. I wonder. I wonder if John's not sure of the points. This would be. This would be the opportunity for him to ask to yeah. double check. If get he, your squad if, builders out. If he, if he asked, we, we 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 would help him out. We would tell him. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, we our our score is always unofficial. But of course, they can always check it. Hey, thanks, Purple Raisin, for a subscription. You guys got to join us for four more games today mm -hmm. as we work our way through this elimination bracket uh, should be a challenge bracket up and available to the public yep exclamation point bracket will get you what you need I don't know if they could do that to them but at some point you can ah yeah <laughs> when they behave I just need a break, you know. Two days of, of people, I, you know, I'm a, I'm out of like premier event mental shape, right? It's like I just need, need a minute <laughs> okay. from 600 people yelling at me in in a, in a chat, you know. Just need, okay. just need a minute. Okay. All right, there you go. One of the, one of one of our grand admirals went it went and did the exclamation point bracket. Oh, thank you. All thank right, you. there you go. Tycho Tycho 1707, man of the people. <laughs> Okay, so I like this. I was wondering if you would do this to try to block that hard three. And yeah. I, I think it does now. And Finn is zooming in. Yep, if he can do the damage on Vader, he can seal the deal here. Yeah, box him in. Put him in the box. He's putting Vader. But you know what, though? If Vader did, like, a talent roll or something here, mm -hmm. that might fit 
And that could get you, you got to lean into that variance. <laughs> Natty gods, please yeah, save me. Yeah, but it gives you, you a chance. Just tail and roll right into range one of It gives you a chance. I'm sure it'll be fun. No. Is that just the heart two? It's the two. <gasps> Did it fit? Ba bear, baby. Come on. John. <laughs> John. You, John. John, John is a, is a, oh, he's got a single force. Yeah. This is going to be, this is, he's got some decision making to do. He's going to get, well, you know what? The linked action. The linked action. Mm. Exactly. The linked yes. action. You can, you can get stress everything. Means nothing. The you stress can, means nothing. You can get everything. Focus. Yep. He acquired the lock. There's the stress. Focus, link nice. Action. Good right, play right, there by right, John. Right, Heads right, up. Right. So many people on Vader forget about those mm -hmm. linked actions because it's of how many you get. Such a, uh, between that and fire control system, you could really save yourself a lot of force. Yep. Oh, man. Hold on to your butts, people. These <laughs> these rolls are going okay, to be are going so, to be big. Well, Vader does have to survive most of these attacks. Yeah. Ooh, underperforming uh, on five the, dice there. There you go. Only two. Here we go. Vader, Vader's got this. Natty's. See, from the half court, baby. Get it. Sienna and Vader, you, you half and get get the rest of Tell, and you could do it. This is Sienna. Sienna, outmaneuver. Yeah, outmaneuver does it. That's it. If oh. it's range two. Assuming that's a range two shot. Yep, that's it. Tell just got taken out. Here's Vader. Range one. J J he's coming up aces for John. Coming up aces. Concordia, that's it's two. Half points. That put John's ahead. This is oh, it comes out of the fence shot. Hit crit. Oh no, this is the pup. The pup. That's the it. Pup, the pup. That's it. it. The pup. <laughs> <sighs> Oh. The pup! <laughs> My goodness. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> you guys just traded the. Boom, 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 boom. Man. All right. Oh. Brian, Linda Moot. There. That was a heck of a game. Wow. Yeah, kill off uh, okay. Darth Vader, Vader here. We'll get an official score. Uh, that would be 159 to John, 171. 171 to Brian, taking the win and moving on to the top 16. Crazy. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.